friends welcome back hope you guys are doing well today in this illustration is going to be very different than usual because i have never illustrated a cactus in sketchbook app and i thought this is going to be absolute new for me hope you guys will enjoy this video let's get straight into step one and um, before we paint the sky i'm just starting off with a rough sketch here with the help of primary pencil and also the resolution is 2080 into 2860 in autodesk sketchbook app i just wanted a reference of mountain and grass and a cactus where I want to lay it across and also our crescent moon so now we are hopping on to the new layer for the sky layer uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a bunch of aesthetic uh, color which is the purple purple the darker purple the lighter purple and a pink and pinkish tune along with orangish tune so that this looks like out of nowhere imagine yourself in mars of course mars has to look right but anyway without any further blabbering here we are adding some more hues of pink so that this look as vibrant as we can because we are just continuing the spirit of independence day and then i'm using blending brush here to blend it across and we are doing the help of diagonal blending not the top to bottom or from the straight line we are just blending across the darker sh shade and then followed up with the lighter shade and also i'm trying to bring in highlight of the orange shade and this bright pink along as we go by so just take your sweet time this all or the uh, the current uh blending is in its own speed i have not increased or decreased any of it so make sure you take your time while blending this and we are moving on to step two that is to draw a mountain so once i have done blending i'm going to add a new layer for the mountain layer and we are going to use fountain pen and with the help of freehand we are just going to draw a mountain structure and just make sure you don't have to be like exactly how it is you can draw a very large mountain or small mountain up to you i just wanted a few peak of mountain that's it and then with the help of fill bucket option we are going to fill the layer and i'm going to add the shadow or the highlight of the mountain also if you want the mountain to have pink orangish purplish color you can go ahead Ahead, do your imagination the only object which i'm going to try to keep as real as i can is the mountain and also with the help of blending brush i'm slowly going to blend this across you don't have to add highlight also you can just pull in the color from inside to outside from outside to inside and just smudge as you go but i thought maybe i can add some bit of work here for all of you and once i am done doing this you have to do the same thing for rest of the mountain just make sure to take your time because these are all in 4x speed and also i'm slowly blending it across in both so for example one side of the mountain is slighted so that's where the shine of the moon is going to fall so that's the reason i want to highlight in the mountain depth and the shadow so we are almost done blending the mountain here and i'm just going to blend the lower part of the mountain and slowly scribble across and i'm going to add a new layer for our sand layer and we are going to draw cactus as well i should have made a separate step for cactus but i thought since sand is not a lot of work i'm going to add cactus in this step itself so with the help of coarse watercolor brush i'm just going to select all this color of sand from lighter to darker shade and with the help of a wash brush i'm going to slowly blend this across and top to bottom just make sure to give highlight as a highlight and the shadow depth as a uh, depth so if you want to spend more time on sand definitely but i thought this is good enough for the background of a sand so i'm going to add uh, the new layer for cactus and also i have on if you look on the right side i have pulled the mountain layer to the top layer and i have put sand layer beneath the mountain layer because we want the sand to be at a distance and so so now i am just going to use the help of camo brush to add a few greenery around the cactus and also i think cactus ha does have few greenery if i have to imagine and with the help of i'm going to start with the darker shade as a background and then i'm going to add few greens and then few highlights highlights of green and then i'm also going to add some yellow some orangish colors so that it looks like the pop of the sky is falling over the leaf and once we are done we are going to add a new layer for the cactus layer for cactus i'm going to use fountain pen and also with the help of draw styles line option i'm just going to draw this two line and just connect it together this looks like a small limp out of it but i don't know how to explain it properly but this is how it is just make sure to go inward to you and then 
then uh, pull the line across uh, to the main branch of the cactus and then add tiny tiny lip and then fill the entire layer and use a darker shade of green and put it across the cactus with the help of blending brush we are just going to blend this across take your sweet time because these are all in 4x speed and hope you guys have enjoyed so far of course this video have timestamp if you don't want to watch the mountain sky whatever you can just click on the chapter and move on to whichever main uh, whichever step you want to follow multiple times so that's one of the bit and also this sketchbook is something which i really enjoy and if you guys ever get to illustrate this make sure to tag me in my instagram and also if you have not yet subscribed to my newsletter tomorrow will be the second free newsletter from my inbox to inbox where we are going to share some greatest life lessons some greatest book codes because i'm a geeky person and also some few learn lesson from the podcast and few of the interesting illustration i have done this week and rest and so and also there is a podcast from previous week which you can obviously listen to i'll make sure to leave all those links down below and make sure to subscribe to this channel as well because there's so many interesting video coming along and of course i love connecting with all of you so once we are done with this i'm just adjusting the size of cactus and i just copy and pasting the rest of the cactus around because i feel like why not i have done so much effort let's copy and paste this across yep now that we have finished the most difficult part let's move on to my favorite let's paint some moon and if you are like me this is the most easiest step you can follow and with the help of glow brush i'm just going to make three dab in the screen and make sure to add into a new layer and with the help of tad inker i'm adding a shadow depth of purple to it and i'm slowly blending with the help of wash brush and also i'm using cashmere eraser i thought this looked like but then i realized no 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 i want the edge to be completely edged out and just give me a circle and then I'm going to cut off like a piece of cake from the moon and just there you have your own crescent moon voila and also with the help of blending option I'm going to adjust the color and also I feel like maybe there should be more purple in the moon because why not we are doing something interesting and the last we are going to add some stars with the help of glow neon pen we are just going to add few stars here and then we are with the help of copy and paste we are just going to paste more star as we got why not sparkle because when it's sparkle in our life and with the help of hairbrush i'm just going to give few star falling to our surface because we are just going to make few wish which is really going to come to true in our future days so hope you guys enjoy this video see you all tomorrow till then enjoy your life make the best you can because life is too short to think what others are thinking just do what you feel like doing so have a great life see you all tomorrow bye bye